All right, so I have a super quick little exercise for you to try if your glutes aren't firing. So let's come on the floor, let's come on to our bellies and check it out. All right, so when you come down to the floor, okay, you're gonna feel, right, you're gonna come all the way down. I'm gonna come up just so I can be right here. So you're gonna feel the connection of your pelvic bones and the connection of your pubic bone. That's just gonna help ensure that your pelvis stays really planted for this. All right, so all we're gonna do, actually I'll come down here. All we're gonna do is let one of your glutes, let the left glute fire. You're gonna kind of squeeze it a little bit and then lift the leg. Take it into extension and take it back down. Now let the right glute fire. You're gonna squeeze the right glute a little, let the left glute go and give it a lift. Right, sink it back down. So keep that going side to side. Now remember, this is not gonna be a big lift behind you, right? The leg does not have far to go into extension before you really start to shift through the pelvis, right? So the pelvis stays planted. You're lifting the leg, firing the glute. As you're lifting, take a little snapshot. Let's see if your glutes are firing equally. If you have one that feels like it's firing a bit more, maybe one isn't, maybe you have better range of motion in one leg, right? Which is going to be an indicator of your glute firing really good. Poor range of motion, maybe your glute's not firing so great, right? Because it is the glutes that take this leg into extension, right? So go one more each way, all right? Give a lift, let the sink, and one more time, give a lift, and sink it back down. All right, now let the glutes go. Let's try to fire them. All we're gonna do, let me scooch up a little. All we're gonna do is you're gonna leave your thighs down on the floor. Keep the knee on the floor. Take one of your feet and take it into this dorsiflexion. You're gonna feel that your big toe is on the floor. Your big toe is in a bend. And now drive the heel to the wall behind you. Let the leg lift. Hover that thigh from the floor. You're gonna hold it there. Feel the glute squeeze a little bit to hold the femur bone suction in that hip socket. And now try not to let the leg shift a tiny bit. Point the toes out. And then bring the toes back and lower the leg. So do that a few more times. Do it as many times as you'd like, right? We're gonna go about two more times like this. Point, bring it back into this dorsiflexion, lower the knee. And again, drive the heel and point, and bring it back, and lower. Let's do the other side. Heel is gonna drive to lift the leg, point the toes, bring it back, lower down. I'm gonna go a couple more times. You are gonna go as many times as it takes to really feel that glute starting to fire, and sink it down. And again, push the heel, point the toes, bring it back, and set it down. Go one more time. Drive the heel, lift the leg, point the toes, bring it back, and bring it down. Now, just shake the glutes out a minute. All right, and then go back to lifting your leg side to side. So, let that left glute fire again. Lift the leg, sink it down. Let it go, let the right glute fire. Lift the leg, sink it down. Now, keep going side to side, take another little snapshot. See if maybe your glutes are firing a little more equally. See if maybe your range of motion has improved into this extension. All right, keep it going. Just go a couple more. Lift and sink. Go one more time. Lift and sink. All right, shake it out. Let's push ourselves up. Let's go back into a shell stretch all the way down. Take a couple of nice big breaths in and out. and release it out. All right, so let me know if that helped. Let me know what you felt when you did your uh, little leg lifts and your glute fire. All right, be sure to like, share, and follow along.